It's not. It's nothing. It's not anything to be concerned with. Don't. Don't pay attention to that. Don't Shazam that shit. Don't ever think about food, glorious food. Food, glorious food. Just like the food we here uh, we had here oh, just before monster. starting this podcast. Uh, well, why don't you tell them about it, Jacob? Huh? Why don't you tell them about the food that we had, that, that we delicious didn't... smorgasbord of food. Smorgasbord? Smorgasbord of food. That is one smorgasbord right there. Yeah, one went smorgasbord. I've seen lots of borgs in my life. But this is the smorgast. Smorgasbord in the world. Borg. Yeah. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, all right. Just tell them. Tell them about it. I, what, nobody wants to hear about that stuff. Do they? What do they want to hear about? Hmm, that's a good. Do they, what do they want to search for? What are the people trying to search for in this damn world? This damn day and age. <laughs> Welcome to People Also Search For, the show where we try and find the answers to life's greatest questions. They're trying to search for. A, Dolphins have hair. Yeah, dolphins, uh, according to you, have hair. Dolphins do have hair. And it feels wonderful to run your fingers through it. Nice mane of hair. Yeah, nice mane of hair. Around their entire body, though. It's not just on the top. It's not just on the bottom. It goes down like a shooting star. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You the know hair, when, the, when the hair goes the down like hair. a shooting star down the dolphin. You know what I'm talking about? Yep. Dolphins, dolphin, shooting star. Dolphin shooting star. See, you're just procrastinating because what? You're afraid to what? search if fucking dolphins have hair. No, fine. I'll search for it. I'll search and for it. Okay. And then you what can go back to if that one. Wait, what if dolphins what have hair? Just what? put, do dolphins have hair? Do, Once again, do uh, dolphins Ryan have hair? With the pro searching skills. That's what we have here. This Why isn't going to be a, here. This isn't going to be another Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog. No, we, it's we not. We promise. It's definitely not. We're going to find something, okay? Do, do dolphins have hair? As Maybe you may know, know, dolphins are mammals. Ooh, looking good See, that's for Team I, Ryan. That's what I said earlier. I was like, I know they're mammals. Yeah. One of the defining characteristics of a mammal species yeah. is that they have hair on okay. their bodies. Okay, yeah, yep, that's what I thought. All right. But so, soon after birth, these hairs will fall out, and you will be able to see what? hair follicles, which are tiny pop marks that the hair used to grow out so you're saying that all the dolphins that i've been running my fingers through their hair were children yeah or like children dolphins or a still a stillborn ew uh, oh th what wait no 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 but it's, it's soon after birth oh yeah so it's oh, after okay. birth it's not before but it's they so lose all the hair in their mom's vaginas and then it just stays in there it stay. <laughs> yep, it just stays. That's in there. how a dolphin Jeez, gets its. That's hairy how vagina. a dolphin gets its bush. <laughs> if your dolphin's got a bush, it's had a child before. Mommy, how did dolphins get hairy pussies? <laughs> Don't say that, Jacob. <laughs> <laughs> say what? Hairy? <laughs> <laughs> no, no uh, pussy. <laughs> That's Don't. really insensitive. What? You're All the one right. who said it first. So clearly I was right. What? No, you're for... not. Dolphins have hair, but they lose it. Uh, that's not having... That's having had hair. Yeah, a shooting star. Yeah, they shoot right... I was talking about this earlier. It's like a shooting star because, you know, it's there for one second and then whoosh, it's gone. It's like hair. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> just like dolphin hair. Yeah, just like dolphin that's hair. That's what I it's think like every time star. I see a shooting star. I think so. That oh, dolphin lost its hair immediately. How, how beautiful. A little piece of a heavenly body is skipping across the it's, atmosphere and burning up. It's just like dolphin's hair. Yeah, it's it's similar to, you know, life. It's, it's a spark. It starts in one place. It flies across the sky. You fly through life. And then one day it just disappears. It goes away. 
phones out in the atmosphere. Some people might ask, is this extraterrestrial? It might be extraterrestrials. I don't think Harry that dolphins I don't, are extraterrestrials. I don't think that the hairy dolphins are... How did, how did the pyramids... They don't have anything to do with aliens. How did the pyramids at Giza get built? It definitely wasn't human labor. It was hairy dolphins. <laughs> Sent from another time <laughs> well, and Well, I will realm. agree that the, the hairy dolphins are they're quite an amazing species, but I don't believe that they could build anything on their own. How... Do, did humans then get the technology to build ancient... I'm just saying you need to leave the dolphins out of this. They're not The aliens. dolphins had the technology. They Before don't... they lost their hair, they used to be a different breed of dolphins. It was an evolutionary trait. Wait, so you're saying that soon after birth they become something different? The ones... That were the ancestors of the dolphins we have in our seas. Oh, so it's not it's you not happening I mean? in in like real time, like, like oh, when you take a short oh, video is. clip. It, it is. is. Yeah, there's an ancient breed of hairy dolphins that that escaped from Earth and built their own civilization, and many hundreds of millions of years later, so, they visited us. And so you're saying that dolphins actually are extraterrestrial. You know, many people might ask, you know, is it extraterrestrial? You know, you might be correct. <laughs> well, that solves that problem. <laughs> thank you, doctor and hey, doctor. Yeah, doctor, doctor. Thank, thanks oh, for thank stopping doctor. by. Thank, thank you for stopping by. All right. And uh, uh, no, yeah, you've been healed by the... Great guests we're going to have here on People Also Search For. Uh, people. Uh, it's definitely not us. Those are pe real people coming in people and that talking have, about our searches. People that have you know lent their whole life's work to uh, important questions of the world, including uh, do dolphins have hair and are uh, dolphins extraterrestrials, which it sounds like they might be. And we're about to find out if they are right now. Are dolphins... Well, according to the doctors, the unnamed doctors that didn't introduce themselves. Yeah, according to them. Good guys. Good guys. I, I really like them. Dolphin studies could reveal secrets of extraterrestrial intelligence? Are you kidding me? We got there. I... First Google result for are dolphins extraterrestrial? <laughs> First result, dolphin studies could reveal secrets of extraterrestrial intelligence. Didn't isn't that something Click you actually it. said? Okay, okay. like you're what are you some kind of psychic? Here we go. Okay, here we go. Uh, uh, continue with ad blocker. Who gives a fuck, Ryan? You're not gonna get a virus from space dot com. All right, uh, <laughs> space dot com. <laughs> okay, oh, sc scroll down a little bit. We got intelligence. Intelligence in the universe. In the universe. You don't want to read all this. Shit. This no, is this like this is a lot of yeah. Oh, here I got it. Oh, I got and it. that brings us to dolphins. And that brings got, us to dolphins. I got it. I got it. Everyone. All Ever right. since the 1960s, when John Lilly popularized the notion that dolphins may be cleverer than your average animal. Dolphin intelligence has courted controversy, <laughs> tempted us with tantalizing but thin evidence, and remained elusive. We know they are able to communicate by a variety of means. Extraterrestrial? <laughs> <laughs> why, why you ask? Okay. A var variety of means, from whistles and barks to echolocation. And researchers working with captive dolphins have discovered that they understand syntax, i.e. the difference between a statement and a question, or past and future tense. As Carl Sagan once famously said, it is of interest to note that while like a, some... Like a mind, like a hiney hole. <laughs> That's what he said, right? I'm a, I'm a famously hiney quoted by Carl Sagan. Yes, Carl Sagan. Uh, that while some dolphins are reported to have learned English... <laughs> <laughs> Up to 50 <laughs> words used in correct context. No human being has been reported to have learned Dolphinese. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? Dolphinese? It really says that on space.com? That is a quote from Carl Sagan. <laughs> Wait, what? That's, yeah, no that's human that. being. Carl Sagan once <laughs> said, No human being has been reported to have learned Dolphinese. <laughs> And you know what? He was he was right. I don't 
I've never heard of anyone being able to speak dolphin. It's like, <laughs> that's what it sounds like. <laughs> dolphins. <laughs> I like the dolphins that are like, <laughs> dolphins, that's me. I'm a fun little, I brought ancient technology to Earth. <laughs> Extraterrestrial. <laughs> Oh boy, that is just well. You heard it here first, Carl. Carl Sagan. Even though somebody wrote this article, I'm, we're not going to try and take. Credit yeah, we're for not going to. Yeah, like you, we you said, heard it here second. It's the first hand. link on Google if you uh, search for uh, what our dolphins, our dolphin uh, yeah. extraterrestrial, yeah, dolphins and uh, and intelligent. Dolphins are one of the most intelligent. You know, animals, correct? Would you say that? Yeah, on Earth, yes. And they they hump people though. They try and they oh, try they and, don't just hump they, people. They tr- they try no, and th- sleep with people. They take them out to dinner. They get a nice moonlit candle dinner going. And they they're like, would you like to bang a fish? And they usually reply no. Yeah, because no, because it's nobody not a fish. wants. Yeah, it's not a fish. They're like, you're definitely not a fish, Mister Dolphin. And he's like, well, lie number one. How about uh, something a little bigger? And then, and then the person, the person comes back, and they're just like, that's inappropriate, Mister Dolphin. I'm not gonna sleep with you now. That's exactly how it goes down. <laughs> Otherwise, though. <laughs> You know, if the dolphin hadn't lied, then there would be consensual dolphin sex. There would be. Yeah. There would be, but, you know, he messed it up. So how, what does it sound like when a dolphin consents, Ryan? <laughs> What's that noise? <laughs> oh. That's a regular yep. aphrodisiac. Yeah, that. <laughs> that's the mating noise. That's the mating noise of dolphins. <laughs> Well, everyone, uh, if you ever hear that noise out in the wild, <laughs> just start going the opposite direction. That's just poor taste. Yeah, that is poor taste. We don't like to have poor taste here at People Also Serve. <laughs> so. You know what else has a poor taste? Not LaCroix. Ha- LaCroix? Oh, you don't like the p- taste of LaCroix? You do. Well, most sparkling water has a bitter aftertaste, and I've heard many people say that as well. I'm not the only person that thinks that. You're I, just weird for thinking it has nothing I, wrong. I, I don't think it tastes bad in any way. Like, it just feels good on the mouth. It doesn't have to be sweet. It, just the unsweetened, just a little bit of flavor in there. A little bit of grapefruit flavor. It's the flavor is not enough to like mask the bitterness from the uh, well, like CO two. Maybe it's because okay, so a grapefruit is already really bitter. So maybe since it's grapefruit flavored and the flavor is so much less bitter than an actual grapefruit, that's what's making me think it's not bitter, like the grapefruit flavored kind. Yeah, but I think all the flavors have a mild like bitter aftertaste. I don't know. It's just water, man. I don't. I don't get the bitter taste. Water is bitter. I don't know. I uh, search for that shit, dude. Wait, is, I'll, okay. Here is we sparkling go. Sparkling water, bitter, and I bet it's gonna say is most people think it's bitter. Sparkling. Oh, I do have a fact about sparkling water. Wa- bottle. Oh, sparkle, sparkling bottle. Sparkling water. I do have a fact about sparkling water that I learned in Italy. You're derpy, Ryan. <laughs> So mean. Sparkling water on my father. I thought it was better at all. Just cut it out. Just, just okay. Just cut that part out. I'm just gonna <laughs> have you cut that part out. All right. What? So it's sparkling water. Wait, I'm not cutting that shit out. What? That's so mean. <laughs> cut it out, Jacob. We'll see. Do this. Do this for me. Is sparkling water bitter? Bitter. It's not coming up in the first few results. The auto okay. fill. There is a people also ask. We're going to consult the people also ask. Does sparkling water taste bitter? Carbonated water. Carbon dioxide. Carbonated water is acidic. Carbon dioxide and water react chemically to produce carbonic acid, a weak acid that's been shown to stimulate the same nerve receptors in your mouth as mustard. This triggers a burning, prickly sensation that can be both irritating and enjoyable. 
I would just be... like Ryan. Yeah, just like Ryan. Irritating and enjoyable. Oh, That's man. why you like it so much. I do. It's I, like the. It's just like it relates to me in every way. Yeah, it was made for you. Yeah, because uh, yeah, it says it makes carbonic <laughs> acid that. Uh, stimulate the same nerve receptors in your mouth that mustard does. Yeah, I don't taste. None of them taste like mustard. I, I uh, no, it's it's saying it's stimulating oh, it's, that part of your oh, tongue. So it's not the taste, but it's the sensation. No oh, man, I really like mustard too. So yeah, Ryan you may have learned something. Dr- uh, Ryan drinks uh, two tablespoons of uh, yellow mustard before bed every night. Yeah, keeps him in tip top shape. Yep, because... Zero calories. Zero, no, five calories. Oh, five? It's worth the calories, though, Jacob. And let me tell you why. You put those spoonfuls of mustard in your mouth, you're going to wake up, your skin's going to be... It's going to be shinier. Your hair's going to be twice as long. It's just going to grow out of excitement for being so healthy. Yeah, and you have a slight tinge of yellow at all times. You have a slight tinge of yellow at like all times. Like a times. jaundice kind of. Kind of. Kind of like that. So I want to see what jaundice looks like. What I do you know want? Oh. anyone who uh, is interested, just Google it on your own. Because uh, jaundice. If there's Jay. if there's something good enough, I'll post it on the YouTube podcast. But we'll see. I just yeah. need to know. I want to know how disgusting <laughs> it is. Whoa! Oh, oh my God! Is that, that guy real? Looks, it looks like a, he looks like he'd be like a Photoshop of a potato that somebody put a face he's on. Like oh, a, God! He's like a piss Oompa Loompa. <laughs> he's a lemon flavored Oompa Loompa instead of an orange. Oh, you know, he looks like... oh, you, Okay, so they have those hyper-realistic Spongebob drawings. Oh, yeah. Like, from the show. Oh, oh He looks like that if All one right. of them was, like, Ernie from All Bert right. and Ernie. He's like, he's the hyper-realistic Ernie. I'm definitely going to be doing some Photoshop today. <laughs> I can see that in our futures, everyone. Oh, my God. <laughs> Look on the screen now. There it is. Ha, 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 ha. Funny yellow man. Okay, he's a funny young man. These, save it. These pictures. Oh, they, uh, they have to be Photoshopped. They all look disturbing and, like, unreal. They... Yeah, he looks, you know, it could be a Simpsons, like a, a if, they made, if they made a live action Simpsons movie, this is what the characters oh, would look God like. Oh, god damn it, now I have to Photoshop him on a Homer, you too. Gotta... <laughs> <laughs> Alright, everyone, it's on the screen it's, now. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, why did you want to look up jaundice? That's so gross. What even, what is Well, what because is you it? were saying, about, you were talking about eating, uh... Uh, out at a the fan. mustard oh eating mustard and i was like <laughs> that's what gives your skin that nice yellowy hue oh yeah like that guy from sin city yeah that... ju- just like that thing that i already said like three minutes ago wait you did sorry everyone you said that yeah that's What's why it? i wanted to look at jaundice oh I actually keep looking at more images they all look like they're not real okay okay that one looks specifically not real a lot of them it's just the eyes it's just like yellowy eyes it looks like they got mustard in their eyes like that picture of that baby looks like it just has a sepia overtone wait oh, like over the yeah, whole picture yeah, it doesn't look like, like the it's background a... is the wrong color too Unless that baby's, like, sitting in an oven, because it kind of looks like Oh, yeah, oven. maybe, like, a little incubator. Maybe that's, like, a premature baby. Yeah, a little baby yeah. oven. Like, that's what they are. They're cooking the babies until they're ripe. That's what a baby incubator is. Incubate that baby. Incubate it. Incubate it. All right, wait. How to bake... A baby. Well, I don't know if you should say. Oh, <laughs> wait, what, really? <laughs> they all say how oh, to make a but, baby blank. But, but I put how to bake yeah, a baby. It's like, oh, did so, you mean how to make a baby blank? No, I want to bake a baby. Ryan, <laughs> should I not? What? Wait, what are you, the fucking witch from Hansel and Gretel? <laughs> yeah, I love the taste of children. Wait, don't. Uh, Why did you want to search for that? It's just the first thing that came to my head. That's very upsetting. Well, what's the first thing that comes to your head, then? 
If you're gonna complain about me, I can't. I nothing. I I can I can't stop thinking about that. What? How to bake a baby? No. How, you, how that's much what, you wanted? How that's the first thing that came to your head, and you're like, I'll just type it in. Just don't think about it. I didn't. I'm never gonna not think about it now. That's gonna be on your mind at all times. Well, not all like, times, but every once in a while, it makes I'll me just feel remember. really appreciated. I'll have you know. Thank you. Uh, well, thank you very much. It's not really a good thing, but you can take it as a compliment if you like. All right, I will. Because when you're thinking about me, it's a good day. It's a good day in old Ryan town. <laughs> 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 it's a good day in old Ryan town. <laughs> oh, it's a good day in Ryan town. <laughs> oh, man. Town hall meeting was a oh, crap. Man, you don't find that much when you look for Ryan Town. Let's check the images. Oh, it's just very uh, specific to you. Uh, there's Saving Private Ryan, but that's mm. not Ryan Town. Ryan Town's a much more peaceful and beautiful place. <laughs> Ryan Town's then place World where, War Two. Yeah. The, oh, I <laughs> hope so. Otherwise, oh. it's not much more peaceful. Somebody but. just threw a Molotov cocktail into the top of your tank, oh. and everybody's cooking delicious barbecue on top of it. That's what Ryan Town's like. Ryan Town, the best barbecue, and the brightest and hottest Molotovs. Come to Ryan Town. Do we? Do we talk about the? Do we talk about the deers? Oh, the deer. Yeah, the deer. The deer that you said scratched its chin with its back leg. Oh, yeah, I did. I yeah. need to know, because I didn't see it do this. Now, according to Jacob, earlier today in the yard, he saw a deer scratch its chin with its back leg by lifting its back leg up far and turning its head to the side, right? Yeah. It basically did what Ryan just said. It, uh, yeah. It lifted up its rear right leg, and uh, it it uh, turned his head to the to the right and downwards, and he just took his little hoof and like right up under his chin, just like like his 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 hoof was like waggling back and forth. It's pretty funny. I didn't know hoofs like moved like that. It was cute. Oh, it! I found a picture of it. Yeah. Is that what you're talking about? Yeah. The deer scratching its chin with its little back hoof. What? Did, <laughs> how it's, did you find that? I typed in, can a deer scratch <laughs> its chin? <laughs> the newest children's novel, can a deer scratch oh its chin? Oh my god, nobody do that. I'm doing it already. <laughs> what? Can, can a, a deer, deer scratch, scratch its, its chin? chin? Yeah. Yeah, it's like just random enough that it'd be like, oh, that's a cute gimmick, but then it would be like, all the pictures are like cute, like when it's a little baby, you see it like try for its leg back and forth, and then it just like <laughs> falls over, and it's really cute that it fell over. It's like, can a moose, moose have a muffin or something? Can and a moose have a muffin? Can a, can a muff have a muffin? Can head? a moose have a motherfucking can muffin? Can a muff have a muffin? Uh, no, can a, uh, can a moose have a muffin? Isn't that a, a children's book? That's what it's reminding me of. Can a deer scratch its chin? And then there's like, can a, can a, uh, what is it? Can, can a you mouse really have a cookie? Oh, okay. Can I, what is I, I was thinking, uh, can you really say that on television? Oh, okay. oh maybe, but uh, can, what is it? Can a mouse? Yeah, uh, everyone knows that. A cookie. That children's story. I know, but the next one's going to be, can a deer scratch its chin? If Oh, if you give a mouse a cookie. That's oh, what okay. I was thinking of. And then it's, if you give a moose a muffin. If you give a moose uh... a muffin. Oh, I thought. Okay. Yeah, yeah. There's a sequel. There's a sequel where the uh, the mouse grows up into a moose, and everybody's confused, and it uh, they're like, "Oh, we can't feed it cookies anymore. They're not significant in size." And then they're like, "Oh, I've got the best idea ever. We're just gonna give the moose a muffin." Oh, and give that moose a freaking muffin! There. He's going crazy. He's had a hungry. hard day. He's been walking around all day that in the freaking cold. That cookie's definitely not enough food to nourish that moose. That moose. What looks, could you bring him? He's about to keel over. Oh, Jefferson, I'm gonna need you to go over to that cart and grab me a muffin. Oh, Yancey, I'll be right on it. I just have to tie my shoe really quick. All right, you're gonna tie I'll your be, shoe. I gotta tie my shoe really quick. Jefferson, quicker. I'm gonna need you to tie your shoe quicker. All right, I'm trying there, Yancey. Uh, all right, I'm done tying my shoe now. I'm about to get that 
that muffin that you requested right. so kindly for that moose there. All right, yeah, run, run for it, run All for right. the muffin. I'm going as fast as I can, which actually isn't that fast because yeah, well, I injured they didn't my knee. Call you old slow foot Jefferson in high school well, for no reason. I injured my knee when I was on the basketball team, and now you know I I, I can't run. Yeah, very you fast. ruined state that year. We were all disappointed in you, Jefferson, yeah, and you too. can't disappoint us today, so you're going to need to run to that muffin right yeah, now. Yeah, and see, I'm going to have to kindly ask you to not dig up dirt from the past there, because, uh, you know, it really the exposes past. some... This was last it, it really, Wednesday. It really makes me feel vulnerable. How so, can you even uh, call last Wednesday the past? Because it happened already. I'm trying to it forget did, it. It did, but it's it's so, it's so similar to the future. It's so... Jefferson... I'm gonna need you to. I'm not getting that damn muffin now. You, I'm, you freaking done I did it. I need to go get the muffin for you. I'll get it for yeah, you. Yeah, and see, you freaking lost it. Just like the moose lost its life that day, for two young men were arguing instead of jumping to his aid. Most of the time, when we lose a moose, it's because people were too busy arguing instead of. You and never, a muffin. you never want to lose a moose. You know what they didn't? They didn't hurt anyone. Well, and maybe they did, but we can't rightfully say so. You're right. So just let the mooses be. Let mooses be mooses. Let mooses be mooses, but don't forget to feed your moose. So wait, is there really a give a moose a uh, muffin? Yes. Give, I feel like you're sh- bullshitting me, Ryan. This, what's coming up is give a moose a cookie, but it's give a moose a muffin. I swear. Oh, uh, you typed give a if, mouse. If a you muffin. give a moose a muffin, if you uh. give a mouse a muffin, if you give a moose, yeah, it's, it's, it came up. It did. Google knows. Look, I searched for give a mouse a muffin, and it came up with if you give a moose a muffin. That it did. If you give a moose a muffin, <laughs> if you give a moose a muffin. A muffin. Yeah, it was uh, oh, ninety three percent like this book. All right. Yeah. Was, uh, there's the two books. The author is Laura Numeroff. So if you want to yeah. read, if you give a moose a muffin, uh, you can, you can get, you can uh, search for Laura Numeroff. <laughs> and there you go. And we're Numeroff. Sure you can get it on a. Uh, you can uh, get it on an Amazon near you, and uh, you can get it on an Amazon. How and, do you yeah, get and, onto an and, Amazon? An Amazon Jacob? near you, meaning whatever Amazon is on get the computer onto to an you. Amazon. How yo get onto an Amazon? <laughs> how yo get on? Oh, it, how, it's it it fixed it for me. How to sell an Amazon FBA? Mm. I got a lot of FIBAs to sell. I got a lot of small appliances and kitchenware to sell. Lots of colanders, just boxes and boxes of colanders. Boxes of colanders. We've got filling up your entire garage and basement. We got a pack of spatulas. Well, I mean, when you buy seventy thousand colanders, they gotta throw in a little bit of something extra, you know, to make it worth your trouble. They do, and you know, twelve pack of spatulas. Twelve pack. That's not cheap. That's at least uh, twelve dollars, by my reckoning. Oh, that is eight ninety nine actually. If you want to get a salt silicone spatula set of eight, eight spatulas, eight ninety nine. Only yeah. one dollar more than eight, or they would be a dollar a piece. But instead, that means they're a dollar ten a piece. But that's okay. Yeah, it's still one dollar a piece, which is what I was saying. Exactly. So riveting stuff. If you want to buy a spatula, one dollar, you all good. Yeah, dollar uh, all tree. Good. You can go. I mean, uh, if, if you just move into a place and you like left all your, you know, a bunch of shit behind, just start over. First place you go, Dollar Tree. You can get like ceramic plates, like any kitchen utensil. You can get lunch. You can get cleaning supplies. Yeah, you can get food. Just get everything you need at the Dollar Tree, and then next stop is like Walmart or Target. You can get some nice like uh, linens and whatnot. Isn't there like a a children's book called the Dollar Tree? No, there's that tree, and then it the Giving Tree. The Giving Tree, yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> the Dollar Tree. <laughs> the Dollar Tree, yeah. That, that's gonna it be gives my, all the children dollars. That's gonna be my follow up <laughs> children's book to uh, <laughs> after uh, 
Can a deer scratch its chin? Yeah, can a deer scratch its chin? It's the and Dollar Tree. The Dollar Tree. I mean, that's not a bad gimmick. Like, it's yeah, just no, an actual it's, tree it's that... It's a tree made of... It grows money. Yeah, and, and like, it invests a little... over your life. But if you take it, it never grows more. And it's it's like this story about a young Jewish boy who's... <laughs> Already problematic. <sighs> Stop trying to punch up my I'm sorry. I'm, say, I'm, making this, I'm making the book about me, though. I wanted to be the oh, uh, child that found it, the dollar a, tree. It, it's a I was just describing, thing. yeah, I was describing myself. I want money, Jacob. Well, j- j- the viewers the, aren't giving it to if me. If you're the character in the book, that doesn't mean you get money. Oh no, no, no! It does because the tree oh my is God. the money for you. But if you take money from the tree, no, well, that's then not, the tree dies and it doesn't not, grow more money. I mean, you don't get any money from the book sales. Oh, you're talking about real life. Yeah, Ryan. Talking about real life. You do you mean this podcast is real life? Should I go like make my bed or cook dinner or something then? If you want. That's what real life is about. Uh, everyone uh, leave it in the comments if you want Ryan to make his bed. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure live you... here on the podcast. <laughs> no, that's definitely not gonna happen. No, but, if uh, if they want it, I'm if sure they, Ryan if the fans want I'm it. I'm sure Ryan's probably made his bed about four times <laughs> in his entire life. <laughs> I've, I've made my bed. Leave it if you leave it a, a few times. Leave it in the comments, everyone, if you want to see a video of Ryan making his bed. If yes, then you get to see all the fucking creepy anime wall scrolls that are on his bedroom walls. Oh, there aren't any of them. Well, there's six or seven, but they're all classy. They're all really classy looking. I would say they're scandalous, and that's putting nicely. Yeah, like I said, classy. All right. Well, classy and scandalous are synonymous in your head, so sometimes in certain situations, yes. But what else can you get at the Dollar Tree? I wonder. Oh, Ryan, you can get plenty of things and <laughs> start the official ad for Dollar Tree. This is Ryan and Jacob here. Uh, for, we love to spend Dollar one Tree. dollar because we some, don't make more than that on this there, podcast. If there's something that you want. Be it um, pony tail holders or or uh, mason jar lids, just the lids though. You can't get the jars or uh, yeah, yeah. You have to go over to two dollar tree or if for you that. Want an oddly too small bag of dog food or uh, <laughs> an oddly too large container of laundry detergent. Do you want a do you want a giant selection of picture frames, but every single one is mi- minorly damaged? Come on down <laughs> to Dollar Tree. Do you want a drying rack for your for your uh, kitchen counter to put your dishes in? And <laughs> do you want half of a chair? Do you want a a a, a, wa- a, pa- a waste paper basket that's too small to even put in like a half a pack of printer paper in? <laughs> Come on down to Dollar Tree. Do you want an electronic device that'll work one time and then battery acid will spill out of it and burn your hands? Dollar Tree is here for you. (laughs) Do you want a book that was written in 1992 and never sold more than 300 copies? Do you want a Sudoku 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 puzzle? (laughs) Sudoku puzzle book? Oh my god. Do you want a lighter for your grill that only works one time and only... <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. That went on so long. Yeah, that's our ad. <laughs> that's our ad, everyone. I hope you liked it. Um, Dollar Tree, that was, please... That was Jacob at his finest. Dollar Tree, please send us uh, some checks for money. Uh, we'll make as many <laughs> Dollar Tree ads as you want. <laughs> I mean, I like Dollar I Tree. Do too. You can get some microwavable meals there if you're really uh, yeah, some banquet for meals. Yeah, and yeah. you only have to cook it. All you need is a microwave. You don't I mean, even need a house. They have like a limited supply of uh, actual groceries there, but I mean, you can get definitely food that you can eat. You can get mothballs made of actual moths. You can get Roach Prison. That was really a product. Roach prison? Yeah, it said roach <laughs> prison. <laughs> that's, that's so dark. Like, they didn't just call it, like, a roach trap. It's like, <laughs> roach prison. It's These pr- roaches have been b- bad. The, ba- the badliest of the bad. These roaches haven't been cleaning up your house. These roaches 
are dirty. These roaches have been shitting all over your walls. Get a roach prison at Dollar Tree now. For only one dollar. Don't tell me what, what am to I do. doing? I don't know. What are you doing, Ryan? I don't know. Speak like Dollar Tree. There's you have your Dollar Tree. What would be one step up from a Dollar Tree, like a Walgreens or a CVS, right? Well, then you also have like Family Dollar. I don't know if that's across the whole country, but uh, yeah, that's in the dollar store grade. But like Dollar Tree, everything is only a dollar. Whereas yeah, like dollar Family is. Dollar or Dollar General. There's plenty of things that are like fifteen dollars or twenty, or you can get like a you know a big Bluetooth speaker that you know never got sold at some other store, so now it's like twenty seven dollars at Dollar General. Wait, Dollar General has things that are more than a dollar. Oh yeah, and Family Dollar. Oh, like that you can. None get... of them are actual dollar stores anymore. Dollar Tree is. Oh okay. So... Everything is one dollar. Okay, so Dollar Tree is Dollar like... Tree, send us some checks for one dollar at a time. <laughs> <laughs> Dollar uh, Tree is the low level. Yeah. Yes. It's but it's, it's good, man. And then you get and then you get to Dollar General and yeah. like the other uh, I mean is when there I'm, another dollar store chain besides uh, Dollar Tree and Dollar General? Not with do oh maybe, but I, I I can't think of any other ones. Okay. Then you go up to your, your C V S yeah, like your Walgreens, and um, I don't know if there's any other ones. Yeah, there. Yeah, there's Walgreens. Uh, there's one in New York that's uh, Dwayne. Dwayne, Dwayne Johnson. Dwayne Reedy or Dwayne Reed, something like Dwayne that. Dwayne Reed. I've never yeah, heard of that, and I'm uh, from New York. Uh, no, like in New York City. <laughs> Dwayne Reed's something pharmacy like that. and delicatessen. Uh, <laughs> delicatessen? No, yeah, it's pharmacy, just a pharmacy. And delicatessen. It's the same thing as like CVS. We serve up the hottest pastrami you've ever had, and we fix your heart afterward with our prescriptions. It's the perfect gimmick. It's the perfect business. Pharmacy and delicatessen. It's like a Pizza Hut and Taco, uh, Taco Bell. Bell. Yeah, you got the Pizza Hut. Yeah. You got that Taco Bell? You got the combination Pizza Hut and Taco Bell. That you do, Jacob. That you do. Um, and <clears throat> I have to tell you that my favorite combination restaurant that I, like fast food restaurant, was actually at Taco Bell Long John Silver's. Oh. Because they're so drastically different. Wait, in, I, you need to first see what that that uh, drugstore is in, in uh, New oh, York Oh, okay, City. okay. The New York... Oh, yeah, the drugstore and delicatessen? delicatessen? N no. The New Year's Resolution. The New York drug store chains? Yeah. Dang. God. Dwayne Reed! Oh! oh! Dwayne Reed! Yeah. Oh, it says it, slash It is a delicatessen. Oh, no, that's Dwayne Reed. By oh, maybe it's like part of Walgreens. Everyone search for... Dwayne Reed's Pharmacy and Delicatessen. Wait, go back now. And search for that. No, and just uh, put in Dwayne Reed. Okay. Dwayne and I want to see. Reed. New York. Dwayne Reed, New York. Now go to images. Delicatessen owner. Uh, now, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> Let what? me see the images for Oh, it. images? Okay, okay. Oh, man. <laughs> Dwayne Reed. Mm. That's not what I was thinking. The it's it's made by Walgreens. No, the place that I'm thinking it has like a a diagonal uh, like red script similar to Walgreens, but it's a print. Like are it's not a it's not a cursive letters. Are you sure you're not thinking of Dwayne Reed? Like you're combining the Dwayne Reed logo with the Walgreens one, and you're thinking no, of like a wed no, Dwayne no, no, wed no. Dwayne weed, the wed Dwayne weed. It's Dopey Wyatt <laughs> again. The red drain. Jesus, that's hard to say. Red Dwayne Reed. Give a move a muffin. <laughs> Dwayne Reed, here I come. Oh, man. No, tr say it. It's Dwayne Reed by Walgreens. Say it. Dwayne Reed by Walgreens. Moving on. All right, now go back. <laughs> I need to know what this place is. Go back to the New York... Uh, uh, far, uh, the top ten New York 
the top drug ten drugstore chains. Okay. Best drugstore. Yeah, go to in that. New go to that. Go to the top ten uh, best drugstores in New York. Vermin Boulevard Pharmacy. Oh, uh, these are. I think these are all going to show you like oh, CVS. Oh, well, maybe Dwayne it is. Reed. Maybe it is Dwayne Reed. Fuck me. Uh, Dwayne Reed's drugstore and delicatessen. Uh, the Modern Chemist. That's a cool. The Modern Chemist Dumbo. That's. <laughs> That's the weirdest drugstore name I've ever seen. Like, <laughs> it'd be funny if they came out with a, a Dumbo remake where it was Dumbo, the modern chemist. I think it's part of New York. He's like, like a wizard. There's one that says Downtown Brooklyn, Soho, Civic Center, and that one says. Are you sure Dumbo. it's not Dwayne Reed then? Yeah, it's Dumbo is the street it's on. Oh. Did you ever? S- <clears throat> I think it is Dwayne Reed, but. I remember the font being different. Maybe they, got, they, they all, they're probably all different. Maybe they got bought out by Walgreens. Oh, uh, you're probably right. Well, that sign doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> Just like how Sonic doesn't exist when I'm trying to search for it. Uh, wait, what were you about to look? Um, at? I interrupted your search. I was not gonna search for anything. Yeah, you were. I was. <laughs> Yeah, right before I told you to go back and find out what the oh boy. drug store that was. That was so long ago. Yeah, that was like two minutes ago. How would you be able to remember that? Oh, man, because <laughs> my, my brain works in a linear fashion only. Go, go, oh, go. Go, 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 go. Like go, go, Sonic. Go, go, go. I learned it from Sonic. Wake me up before, before you go, go, go. Got me spinning on like a robot neck. <laughs> like a robot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he spins and he hits on Robotnik and then he dies. He hits him three times and his giant machine that costs millions of dollars breaks and then the company goes out of business and he gets thrown out on the street. What business is that? The Robotnik Enterprises. Robotnik yeah. Enterprises. I wonder if that's a real business. Robotnik Enterprises. We're checking it out. Is this... We're, we're doing a review on Robotnik Enterprises. Enter. Prizes. Eggman. Oh, man. Wait. Eggman Enterprises. Oh. Robotnik Corp and Eggman Enterprises. So I was close. I was really close. Eggman Enterprises or Eggman Industries is a company owned by Dr. Eggman. It is most likely one of his methods for funding his schemes. It was only mentioned in Sonic Colors. Okay. Well, I didn't play that, so. Oh, well, Sonic Colors? Yeah, yeah. It was when um, that Sonic sounds, was. That just sounds shitty. It's the LGBTQT. It's the, it's, that's, it's, that's the, it's a rainbow Sonic. It's amazing. It was one of the best games. No, it was one of the like, best, most recent games. Oh, okay. This is what I was thinking of. Oh, Dwayne see that, Reed. See that little logo in the middle of Dwayne and Reed? Yeah, well, that's what it's I was like thinking. a D and an R, yeah. but it looks like a piece of toast. But that of. is the that is the store that I was thinking of. Just so everyone just to throw isn't back. Confused. Yeah, yeah. We don't want to confuse. Because I, I I was genuinely. We uh we like to pinball here on this podcast. Every uh, like wait Walgreens and CVS and. Uh, Dwayne Reed, like, all of those have bold red logos. And I think Rite Aid does, too. It's probably because they're a pharmacy, and, these, it, like, red is the medical color. I think you mean, meant to say, red, red is the medical color. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I went, is... to, I went to <laughs> medical school for eight years and got my, my doctorate. <laughs> And pronouncing words correctly. <laughs> That's going into like Elmer Fudd right there. Which you can see us battle on people also search for Rabbit Rampage. Mm-hmm. You don't want to miss a gosh dang second of that sweet content. Nope, that is some quality content with some definite audio quality let me tell you it is going to have the greatest right. audio quality you've since ever seen. now that you've brought it up uh some of our audio might not be the best just right at the beginning uh we're already getting a lot better at this stuff so bear with us for a little while 
and it'll all pay off in time because then we're gonna sound smooth as silk in the microphone. Smooth as a dolphin's hair. <laughs> yeah. Smooth. Nicely done, Ryan. Yep. Nicely done. Smooth well, as a dolphin's hair. On that note, uh, now that we've brought it full circle, uh, everyone stay tuned uh, in the future for more uh, sweet, sweet audio gold. And remember, people also search for being as smooth as dolphin's hair with the ladies. Uh, might be extraterrestrial. <laughs> We are all extraterrestrial. We are all stardust. We're all one with the universe. You hear that, all you precious snowflakes? We're all stardust. and uh, We're all matter. And you're all beautiful on the inside. Thank you for joining us and on People Also Search Let me tell for... you something before we get out of here. All right, we're all one made more of, thing. We're all made of matter. One because more you thing. matter and I matter. We all matter. We are all one. Beautiful, beautiful exiting words, Ryan. Uh, thank you for that. You're welcome. Passage. <laughs> and uh, that being said, <laughs> you all matter, and we'll see you next time on the People Also Search For podcast. <laughs>